You've heard of Canva, right? A leading all-in-one design tool. However, recently they released a hugely disruptive spreadsheet tool, an alternative spreadsheet solution to using Excel and Google Sheets. And let me tell you, it's pretty darn cool. This new tool called Canva Sheets combines data and content management with design. And today I'm going to walk you through how you can use Canva Sheets for both business and personal use. Okay, so with that quick intro out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into Canva Sheets. Okay, so here we are inside my Canva account. Now, if you're completely new to Canva, simply head over to your browser and type in canva.com or feel free to click on the link in the description below this video, then sign up for free and you'll be taken inside your Canva account. Now, it's important to mention that you can leverage Canva Sheets using Canva Pro or Canva's free account. If you're on Canva's free plan, you'll just have limitations on AI functions as well as template options. Okay, before we navigate through and get you up and running with Canva Sheets, what exactly is Canva Sheets? Essentially, Canva Sheets is a visually focused AI-powered spreadsheet tool. Now, compared to Excel and Google Sheets, which are traditionally focused on complex data, Canva Sheets is designed to be a visually engaging data tool that leverages AI so that you do not need to know complex formulas. Canva Sheets is not only a data-driven spreadsheet tool, but also a platform that integrates with all your Canva designs. You can also collaborate with Teams and integrate built-in tools. Canva Sheets can be used for setting up different systems within your business, as well as streamlining different workflows. You can also use Canva Sheets for personal use. And we'll talk about everything that you can do with Canva Sheets in this tutorial. All right, let's get started. Simply navigate down to Sheet, or search for the type of sheet that you want to create. You can even just type in sheet up here. Let's navigate down to sheet, and on the left-hand side, you'll see these template options. Let's close this for now, and here we can start building out our first Canva sheet. Now, before we leverage a blank Canva sheet, let's navigate back over to design and have a look at some of these templates. For example, maybe you want to track your budget. This is great for personal use. I'm going to replace current page, and then close this template sidebar. And now we have a budget template. Over here we have a dynamic graph, as well as an expense graph and an income graph. These graphs are incredibly responsive. I can click on a segment and then zoom back out. The same over here. And I'll show you how to build out these dynamic graphs shortly. Let's navigate down. You can see we already have default data in this budget template. We have the date here, which we can change. We can add the item, for example, monthly rent change the category, as well as add additional options. And next to this, we have type. And again, we can customize these categories and add different value options. So again, depending on what you wanna use Canva Sheets for, you can leverage a template and then customize these templates the way that you like. Okay, let's navigate back up to design and have a look at some of these other templates. We have a lead tracker, expense tracker, project Gantt chart, an invoice tracker, and all these other templates. Let's go ahead and look at this lead tracker. I want to add as a new page and then minimize this. And that's gonna take us to this lead tracker template. Now all these items, we can edit the way that we like. We can drag and drop as well as ungroup and delete specific elements if we like. I could change this text to sales CRM. I'm going to come down and change this text, sales CRM for Stu's Consulting. Down here we have specific columns. What we can do is right click and add a row or column and add a column to the right. Let's add a new column for my sales CRM, service. And here I want to select the service that this potential customer is interested in. I can click here and then edit these different values. For example, I'm going to change this, strategy session, I'm happy with that. And then edit this value here and add another service that we offer. And I can do the same with these other values as well as add additional options. Once I've made changes to these options, I can come down and update 17 similar dropdowns. And now, as you can see, if I click on any of these other values, the options have been updated. Okay, so I have my sales CRM and I can customize this the way that I like. If I navigate down to pages, you can see I have page one, which is my budget tracker, and then my sales CRM. Let's create a blank page. Okay, so here we have a blank page, a blank sheet. Now, you may want to manage your different sheets in separate files depending on what you're creating. For example, my personal tracker, my budget tracker, I would want this in a separate file and then my sales CRM again in a different file because these two are not related. Okay, so with this blank canvas sheet, I want to create a content management schedule or in other words, a content calendar. 
However, you can create anything that you like, and I'll show you all the tools, functions, and features that you can leverage when building out your own sheets. Okay, I'm going to navigate up here, drag and drop, and highlight these columns and rows, columns A all the way to J, and rows one to two. Then let's go ahead and change the color. I'm going to add this color here, and then navigate up here to border, and then come down to border color, and change the color. And now this section here, these rows and columns are the same color. Now, if I navigate over here and click on show grid lines, you can see currently all grid lines are showing. If I disable this, all grid lines will be removed. This can be helpful if you're building out a dashboard or a sheet with dozens of widgets and elements that does not need grid lines. Okay, next I'm going to navigate over to text and add a heading and I'm going to drag this heading and place that up here. I'm going to change this to content manager. Then similar to using Canva on any other design, you can leverage the different formatting options up here. Okay, so I'm happy with this. I can also drag out the sides and I'm happy with that. I'm going to navigate across here, drag this across and again change the color to this dark blue and the same for the grid lines, border color and this dark blue. Okay, let's navigate back across and minimize this. We can also resize the different rows by simply dragging and releasing either the rows or for example, the columns over here. To quickly add a new column, we can click this plus icon and to add a new row, again, we can click on this plus icon. To undo a change, simply navigate up to this undo arrow. Okay, so I'm going to add some headings up here and I can format this text if I like. Again, I can change the font as well as the sizing and the style. I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do is click here and drag to quickly duplicate these headings across these different columns. Then I'm just going to quickly change the heading names. Okay, so I've quickly added those headings. I'm going to highlight these headings and we can bulk format. I'm going to change the alignment to center aligned. Now what I can do is click here and then navigate up to actions and then locate dropdown. Here we have dropdown and these different actions allow us to quickly format the different cells. Let's navigate down and click on dropdown. We can choose from these presets and then customize these if we like. I'm going to create my own dropdown and then click here and edit option one and add Sheetify CRM. This is one of the brands that we'll be managing content for. I'm happy with that. Let's change the color. I'm gonna locate an orangey color and I like the look of that. Okay, so I'm going to quickly add two other brands. Okay, so I've quickly gone ahead and added those options. We can add additional options if we like. Now I can also click here and drag these options down here and I'll change these brands later on. I'm going to do the same with channel, navigate up to actions, locate dropdown, and then I'm going to quickly add the options in here. I'll quickly do that now, just like I showed you. Okay, so I've quickly gone ahead and added those different options. Now let's navigate over to team and then navigate up to actions and then locate mention. And here I can add and assign team members that are part of my Canva account. I'm going to add Emma and assign her to this content distribution task. I'm going to quickly add the content description in here and I'll quickly add a few more content descriptions for the purpose of this tutorial. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance and let's get back to the video. Okay, so I'm happy with those content descriptions. Again, I've added a team member. What I can do is drag this column down and then assign the right individual to this task. Okay, so I've added myself in here too. Now let's navigate over to designs. Now I actually wanna jump back into content description before we jump into design. Let's highlight these rows. And what we can do is navigate up to actions and we can leverage Magic Write, which is an AI tool to help us write our content description or any content inside our sheet. This allows us to generate content at scale. I could add, create content descriptions for social media. And that's going to create content based on the columns that you already have. Let's go ahead and click on insert. And depending on how you've structured your content, your sheets, you may want to jump in and edit each of these results. So again, based on Canva AI, the different tools, actions that you can leverage up here that use Canva AI will use the data within your entire sheet, helping you generate better content. Okay, let's navigate over to designs. And what we could do, for example, is navigate over to uploads. And let's say I want to add this design as this is the image I want to post. I can also click down here again, navigate over to uploads and I could add this image here if I wanted to. Now I'm just going to quickly add a few more designs down here. 
Okay, so I've quickly gone ahead and added designs in this column. Now what I could do is highlight these three, for example, and then remove the background of all three of these images. And this shows you the potential of bulk editing using sheets. Now under design, what we could also do is click here, navigate up to actions, and we can also connect a Canva design. Like I mentioned, your Canva account is interconnected. So maybe you have specific design files that you want to connect to a specific cell. For example, let's connect this file YouTube thumbnails. And if we navigate down here, you can see that file is connected. Okay, let's navigate back up here. And again, let's add a status, navigate up to actions. This time, I'm going to add a dropdown and use a preset dropdown. I'm happy with this. I'm gonna change this to not set and then drag this down to fill in the entire column. We have due date. If we click here, actions, navigate down and locate date, we can add the date, the due date of each post. I'm going to click out of there and drag this down and I'm happy with that. And all we need to do is click here and choose the date. And then I can do the same with publish date. I'm gonna drag that across and then drag this down. And now we have a publish date. Now, what we can also do is leverage AI to translate our content. As you can see, I've highlighted some of my content descriptions. I can navigate up to actions, then navigate down and locate translate. Select the language you want to translate to, for example, Spanish. I want the tone to be the same, original. However, you can choose these other tones if you like. And what you can do is duplicate this page and then translate the entire page if you like. I just want to translate the text in the selected cells. And what we can do is translate, and that's gonna translate the content in here, or we can add to a new column. I'm going to do that. And you can see the content on the left-hand side has been translated over here into Spanish. I'm going to add the title to Spanish description. Pretty cool feature, huh? And then over here, we have cost. And I can go ahead and add the cost in here. All I need to do is navigate up to number format and click on currency, and that's gonna add the currency. If I want to change the currency, I can simply navigate up here, navigate down to more formats, and choose the correct currency. Okay, let's close out of this and drag this down. Now I could also add comments in here. For example, let's drag this, change this, and then navigate over to comment. And this is where you can add a comment and tag your team. As you can see, I've tagged Emma. Please ensure the design meets the specific brief shared. I can choose the different share options and I can assign this to Emma, add emojis or stickers if I like. And as you can see, the comment has been added here. However, you can add comments to any row. For example, if I click on the design and then navigate up to comment and I can add a comment to this cell if I like. Okay, now let's go ahead and create a new page and then click up here and navigate up to actions and let's go ahead and generate a table using AI this time. As you can see, we just built out a content calendar, but let's go ahead and leverage AI to generate a content calendar for us. You can also describe exactly what you're after. Let's test out this prompt for now and we can make changes to this prompt before generating. And as you can see, AI has quickly gone ahead and generated a content calendar based on this prompt. Let's click on insert. And again, we can make changes to this content calendar if we like. I'm going to add another page and this time navigate up to actions, generate table. And this time let's go ahead and generate a budget tracker using AI, which will be different to the budget tracker template that we used in the beginning. Let's click here. Again, you can make changes to this prompt if you like and then click on generate. Then come down and click on insert. I'm going to quickly go ahead and fill this out. Okay, so I've gone ahead and filled out the budget amount as well as amount spent this month. I can also add dates and other columns if I like. For now, let's go ahead and highlight these two columns, navigate up to actions, and then click on magic charts. And here we can generate a chart based on this data. Here we have a pie graph, bar, funnel, and radar. I'm happy with pie graph. Let's click here. And that's gonna add this graph in here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop and place that where I like. And now we have a graph that visually represents this data on the left-hand side. Now what I can do is highlight budget amount and compare budget spent. Again, navigate over to actions, magic charts, and click on bar. And I like this bar graph, it represents my data. Again, we can drag and drop and place that where we like. Now we have a graph that represents the amount spent versus the amount budgeted. Now with each of these graphs, you can change the color. You can also click on edit and that's gonna allow you to choose the data and set up your different labels like categories and segments. You can also click on customize and you have these further customization options. Okay, let's close out of this. Now, as I mentioned, your Canva files are interconnected as well as your different sheets. So what we can do, for example, is copy this and navigate over to, let's say this budget tracker over here. 
and I can paste in that graph and add that over here. And this data here is being pulled from the data that we added over here in this sheet. As you can see, your sheets are interconnected. If you change the value here, for example, you can see the data changes down here, as well as let's say housing is now only 500. If I click here, you can see that data changes. And if we navigate over to the budget template, you can see that data has been updated here too. Okay, let's navigate back. And what we can also do is navigate up to actions and leverage magic insights. Here we can ask a question about our data set to generate specific insights. For example, what is the percentage difference between budgeted amount versus what I actually spent? Let's go ahead and click on generate. And as you can see, insights for page five, the overall percentage difference between total budgeted amount and total spent is 39.69%. And you can see that formula down here. And then you can see these other insights. The average percentage difference between budgeted and spent amounts across all categories is 41.89%. And again, we have the formula down here. Now we can also add formulas. Now, similar to any other spreadsheet, we can also add formulas. For example, I'm going to change the color here to this light color and then click here and simply hit equals. And here we have the different formulas down here. For example, sum add selected numbers. I'm going to highlight these and that's gonna highlight all numbers and click on enter. And just like that, we have the total of budgeted amount. Now I can also click here and we can also add a formula up here by clicking equals and you can use AI to generate the formula that you want. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this tutorial. So what are some other ideas that you can use Canvas Sheets for? Well, as I mentioned, you can use Canvas Sheets for personal and business use, for managing your accounting, sales pipeline, onboarding, HR, managing marketing campaigns, bulk creating content, collaborating with your team on projects, and more. If you're interested in diving deeper into Canva AI and everything you can do inside of Canva with AI, I will add the relevant tutorial down below in the description. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Canva Sheets tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about using Canva Sheets, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.